A lot of people don't know he just bought the lot, the house next door to his crib on Star Island. So he has oh, two wow. now. That shit is legendary. Behind me, that is the entrance to Star Island. You can see the Miami Beach police car there at the entrance. If you look to your right, you can see this is where the Homeland Security investigations are set up with their command post. What the fuck? Right now, as we speak, Sean Puffy Combs, known as P. Diddy's homes, are being raided for sex trafficking. What does the midnight think? I think we had fucking enough. I think we had enough of the bullshit coming out of Hollywood. I think we had enough of the elites. I think we had enough of our children and our women being extorted and taken. I think by, by running them around the country like they absolutely mean nothing, like they mean garbage. That all these elite men just running and taking our children. It's going to come out. The story is just breaking. It's going to come out. But it's not going to end with P. Diddy. It's going to continue to just rain right through fucking Hollywood of taking and hurting our women and our children. Midnight's had enough. This forum has surely had enough of hearing all these sick fucking stories coming out about all of our children being hurt, about, be, about being hurt and trafficked and moved like little goalie posts all around the country. It's disgusting. It's enough. We have got to protect our women and our children. I can't control what's going on out in the world, but we surely can control what's going on here in the United States of America. And that is all I got to say about that. But Midnight and this forum will help authorities, anybody who is involved. We will come down the fucking pipe to protect our mommies and our daddies and our babies from you disgusting animals out there. And that's all I gotta say about that. Midnight, I am out. One, two, three. Woo! Yeah, 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 man. So Diddy goes down. Seems like him fled the country for real, people. For real, for real. Is that serious thing right now? So, we're gonna talk about Drake right now. Drake, daddy. That boy, the man, that daddy, I stand up for him still. I'm lucky. Him, I'll know him, that big man like this. I'll know daddy, I cry for him, and still I fight for him. So, watch out. Drake, daddy, say, stop ganging up on my boy. Better get a life, bullies, because Metro Boomin and Kendrick Lamar album Future, you know, them drop an album together and the whole of them kind of, they're on an anti Drake run right now. Drake, dad say, he might even jump in at the way if he say, on behalf of him, son, calling Kendrick Lamar and everyone else who seems to be taking shots at Drizzy out of nowhere. He must say, I beefed him, I beef with him. He said, um, yo, I'm about to drop some new music. <laughs> and I am not sure if it's going to sell, but I am going to call some of my homies and get them to start a beef with Drake and get them to unfollow him. And that's going to make my shit shoot up to number one. I'm sure this is going to work, so let me get some people on board for this and watch what kind of attention this gets. I will be number one one day. That's what Drake's dad said, um, Future and Metro Booming them did to get a number one. Wow. In fact, I stand up for you, me. Wow. Father still stand up for him. So here I know people, this is uh, over at TMZ and you can go check out this. Uh, watch I know. Future and Metro are expected to bring in numbers next week atop the Billboard 200 and Kendrick like. Kendrick tune like that. This. I mean, this um, Drake Panna tune is a number one record themselves. But all these guys have proven to move units without the feuding. Seeing so maybe them just depend on a thing where them just are anti. Like them say, Kendrick, Future and Metro, last solar project all went number one. They're all... Just on an anti Drake feud right now. Yeah, yeah, you know, I just clear up the bull and just put up Kendrick versus Drake. That's what we want to see. Make we just done the whole heap of long talking, all the speculation. We know we want to see Kendrick versus Drake buckle. Rock buckle. Straight and done talk, chuck. The feds just raided Diddy's home in Miami, and these are his sons in handcuffs right now. But let's watch the footage together, shall we? Breaking news right now, we're following the Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs, the rapper and music executive, perhaps being linked to a sex trafficking investigation. He got some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those I just want to say quickly, this is going to be a RICO case. And it's not just Diddy that's going to be going down. But let's continue. Those people have been detained. Now, we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information from. You hear the man say? The man say? 
he will not be alone. Seems like some other people involved in this thing here. What going on is a big thing. Look like a whole for money I make. I saw the money must sustain them big mansion. Yeah. I sell people. I sell people for buy them things. Yeah. Also, I saw the money must get so much billions and millions of dollars. A people they must sell. And law enforcement on the other side of those bushes basically is that home that is registered to Bad Boy Films, which is part of Bad Boy Entertainment. And the home in particular is registered not only to Bad Boy Films, but to one of P. Diddy's daughters. We did see a bunch of investigators going in, making the raid in there, and clearing that as well. So they're going to do a thorough search as they conduct this raid. And so far, Stu, from what I understand and from Haley on the ground there, they have not seen and we have not seen from our vantage point any sign of Sean Combs, the 54 year old who is believed to be the property owner of this. And they are gathering information, talking to the folks who are there. On the so Yemen people, the word from media house is you can't trust the feds, but at the same time, there's a whole bunch of allegations from P. Diddy. I see him Sunday and I handcuff him of him Sunday involved in the mix. It looked like say, there was some deep deep rooted um things are going behind the scenes where you know it, yo people um money can't save in everything see and when you do certain things like trafficking when it comes to sex and young girls like this girl came out the other day basically she called him out if you read the report it said the girl came out and um basically said she was being um sold by pd and them people them in a sex trafficking ring thing so basically once she come out, the other girl them start get mentioned, and it's more than one and two of them. You understand what I'm mean? saying? I think it's three or four or five, maybe a ten. Who knows? I don't fully know the story fully yet, but we there so to drop piece on piece down. No. Don't call me unless there's some love on the other end of the phone. Matter of fact, I'm working. I don't want nobody to call me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody do them. And hey man, I can't get to my house, man. Are you guys? Are you guys his? Huh? Are you guys his neighbors? Can get home, huh? Are you guys his neighbors? Yeah. Really? So, so what's it like? What do you guys think's going on? I don't know. He's he, touching people. He, he do too much. Are you serious? He do too much. Oh, He's man. touching people. Hey, He's not hey, supposed to be hey, touching. Hey, limos. What's, hey, your limos. what's your experience with Diddy? What's your experience? I ain't never going over there. Yeah? Hey, hey when my back, hey, when my back's <laughs> on top, I just let it be. All right. I'm go knock on all right, all right. Be easy. Be easy out here. They're, they're honking at you guys. I <laughs> Uh, and I appreciate you guys. Here's these gentlemen once again. So yeah, man. Uh, the circle. What am I saying right now? Is that the circle? Uh, it's a big circle, and um, some people have an in the circle, as you can see. There is a point where you see the deep diddy in the um, a wall up him champagne glass with a certain amount of people. I mean, so some of them people eh, have to quiet and up on the run right now. I kind of think of you know, escape, get on a private jet and jet to the islands because of them are come for next based upon speculations. It look like some other people involved. So I could go on and watch and see the place. Look, look worried. I believe everybody will get given up, you know, when I'm really digging into it. And if it really come down to some serious thing, why am I tell the people? We're going to see still, you know, we're going to see. You hear that? Moments ago, 50 Cent responds to Diddy's home being raided by federal agents. That's right, y'all. Y'all heard me correctly. Just when you thought things couldn't get any worse for Diddy, ladies and gentlemen, according to TMZ, moments ago, federal agents were seen outside of Diddy's home rounding everybody up. I mean, his kids and all, man. Not only did they raid the Miami crib, they also raided the one in the East Coast as well, man. Like I said, things just got even worse for Diddy. I mean, of course, everybody assumed Diddy would lay low until the talks calmed down, but listen, man, life comes at you fast, man. Like I said, this stuff done got so serious, 
you know, your kids is in cuffs, man. As we all know, things went left for Diddy the moment Cassie came forward with her lawsuit, uh, accusing Diddy of all types of things, and um, got to the point where federal agents now have stepped in looking for Diddy, man. An investigation is still happening, and like I said, it's not looking good. Moments ago, 50 Cent responded on IG with a post that reads, Shit just got real. The feds and all the cribs. Damn, they got the kids in cuffs? Now, it's not Diddy do it. It's Diddy done. They don't come like that unless they got a case. All right, now again, that was 50 Cent responding to Diddy's home being raided by federal agents. Again, both cribs, man. One in Miami and one on the East Coast. Like I said, for anyone who thought, uh, you know, all of the controversy would blow over. Listen, man, it's not looking good for Diddy. Pretty soon, we might see Diddy sit down like R. Kelly did with Gail King, man. You know? That's that's how bad it's got, right? And when it comes to 50, I mean, for the past several months, 50 has wasted no time stepping on Diddy's neck. Every chance he gets, man. Every headline that comes out, 50's right there responding. And at this point, I still don't know what happened between 50 and Diddy, right? <laughs> To, to make 50 just say, you know what, I, I don't give a damn. You know what I mean? This whole campaign, I mean, from the whole Surviving Diddy docuseries to, you know, now pretty much, uh, how could we say, he predicted, <laughs> you know what I mean? Initially, 50 predicted all of this stuff would happen the moment that Cassie came forward with her lawsuit, right? Since then, several people came forward accusing Diddy of so many things. But now it's looking like it's coming to an end, man. Like I said, I don't think anyone predicted this to happen to Diddy like this so soon. Um, again, all accusations, um, you know how it is in the court of law, uh, innocent until proven guilty. However, according to public opinion, man, a lot of people are looking Diddy. They're looking at him, you know, with the side eye, man. It's bad enough uh, people already criticize him for his business tactics, but now it's looking like the end, um, you know, for his legacy, his run. You know, how do you bounce back from something like this? You know, your kids is in handcuffs. I mean, damn. Like I said, did anyone predict, you know what I mean, something like this for Diddy? You know, 20 years ago, I don't know. We talking about a man who was so powerful. All he had to do was be the face of your brand and automatically your company grew value. Now, nobody doesn't even want to stand beside this man. You see how fickle the industry is, man? Just a couple months ago, everybody was at the crib, dancing, parlaying with the man, right? On IG Live, having fun. Now, shh, <laughs> where everybody at, man? <laughs> where they at? You see how this works, man? But y'all let me know. What are your thoughts on Diddy's home being raided by federal agents? Do you think Diddy can come back from this, man? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm already seeing people saying he going to Bally with Russell Simmons. Look, man, like I said, this is tough. This is tough news because everyone that knows uh, about Diddy and what he's done in the rap game, you know, he's he's been doing this for quite some time. Um, and to see it in like this, all you can do is just shake your head, man. But yeah, man, let me know your thoughts on 50's response to Diddy's home being raided by federal agents. And let me know your thoughts on this whole situation here. Like I said, let me know if you think that Diddy will eventually bounce back after this, or do you think this is it? This is the nail in the cuff. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, but that's all I got for
I came in this business saying I was going to expose. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. And the heaven. After that, I don't really kind of know where to go. Let me one more time. <laughs> mm, mm. Right. We good now? Because the people want to know, well, why would he get blackballed? Yeah, oh, because, I was because, that. because in 30 years, I've done nothing but collect information, knowledge, and your secrets. So if you and a man was in a corner doing something you wasn't supposed to be doing. You will tell it. No, somebody come to tell me. Okay. I gather that. I value that. I'll pay for that. Come, tell me. I know so many things I shouldn't know, and they all know it. They all know it. It's 2020, y'all. Yeah. yeah. And it's different than... When it was... Yeah, sit down. Sit down, man. There's the crew. The all right. Um, Look like at the inner circle, this right? I saw the... the, the, the the lower part of the circle where did he run? I am run that part of the circle. Right. We here like. together and, and, uh -huh. and we gonna keep staying together. We getting tighter. That's you right. know what I'm saying? And, right. and, and united we stand. That's and right. ain't nothing else. To, right. to us. Black right. excellence. Right. 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 Yeah, man, Cassie Face has said something else, right? So Cassie Face says something else. So this is a lesson for everybody. It's a lesson for everybody. Money can't save you from all problems. Guiltiness. Mm -hmm. Respond them conscience. Yeah, man. So now them big money with all them multi-millions of you run up on them and hide. And so I say, can't feel, can't walk. I feel good in the public right now. If you watch out, you have to pivot your head upon a swivel right now. You know? So, people, is a lesson for learning for everybody right there. You know what I say? Yeah, man. Make sure so you do the right thing in your life. Well, That's my reason about for a man in Panjita reasoning, right? So, you see for yourself. You can go as high as you want up the ladder. Go on as high as you want. But make sure so you know this. You can't escape your own judgment from your own works and actions. So, do the right things. I can't tell everybody, say, yo, you choose your own way, you know, but me just a telling you, you know, it's a warning. And I bring the message, and I just straight so. See, you remember, say, the highest messenger, say, nah, nah, nah. blessed love to the people. Eh? Subscribe, like, and share, and stay tuned for more reasoning with G. Terry, so, me, I say, did you have to run up and down? Out. No schooling.